Child's Kitchen. Hi guys, guess where are you? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you. Any idea? Mm, I'm inside the Magic Olive Grove. Well, actually, I'm at the local playground and baseball field, <laughs> which you can see here, and the mountains in the background. And um, this is definitely some inspiration for book two of Selma. But I'm coming to you <laughs> live on Tuesday night to share with you um, some thoughts on, for those of you who are struggling right now, I spoke to someone whom I love so much over the weekend who is having a really hard time, um, hello, who is having a really hard time living in the world and uh, has um, almost lost his life several times. And as much as I was showing up with compassion and love, I also um, just wanted to take this moment to pause, and you may not be in that situation um, of really teeter-tattering on that, but you may be struggling. And I just wanted to share that today, um, <laughs> today was the day I did it. Today was a day that um, as much as, like a lot of obstacles came up in front of me and I um, kept allowing for them to be. Instead of resisting them and struggling against them, I kept saying, okay, well this isn't how I plan the day to be at work or with my family or in any way, shape or form. And I also knew when I needed to exit for a bit. So I, I took a break and I exited from all of my ob obligations and fulfilled another. I went grocery shopping, but that's, I actually really enjoy, um, shockingly, food shopping. Um, and in exiting, I was able to come back in, do some more work, tend to my family this evening. And then, I knew before I tended to myself in a real way, because I've got a lovely spread planned for myself. I'm watching a movie, I'm checking out. I'll be home, but I'm checking out, just for a bit. And so I said, you know what? I need to go out and ground and be in nature. I didn't put on workout clothes. I'm not going running, it's not an intense thing. I'm just going for a walk. So. I stumbled upon these beautiful herons, which hopefully I'll edit this video together so you can see them. And uh, just took some time to connect. And I wanted to just share this experience with you to remind you, you know, you hear people say grounding and like, what is that? It, it literally is connecting to, there, there, is, there is energy there when you just, well, of course, when you sit inside a magic olive tree, you know, um, in my mind, but still finding that special place, even if it's in your house, that's even a corner of the couch, uh, um, the bathtub, the shower, take those times to connect, um, especially on days when you've encountered a lot of resistance to what you thought would be and reconnect, um, because that is, that is how we will continue to love and that is how we will continue to hope um, in the face of a lot of resistance to love and hope. Because I'm here to tell you, our work is big and um, you're needed in it. So um, sending you love and just this quick spot. I'm also gonna include a little um, <laughs> lip where I got to do something um, actually, I think I'll put it at the beginning of the video, so I'll explain it. Um, I got to be inside Julia Child's kitchen, very unexpectedly, um, in a museum 
uh, and um, nothing about that was supposed to happen and it ended up happening. And that is where when um, oftentimes you make mistakes because sometimes the resistance is your own mistakes or you're being hard on yourself and not um, providing yourself with the kind of love that you would provide for someone else. So with that I say um, I was there inside Julia Child's kitchen and you know what she's one of my idols. I have come to love her very late in life partly thanks to the Julie and Julia movie which who knows maybe I'll watch that tonight. And uh, it was just such a thrill. So I also want to say, think about people that inspire you and, and find ways to connect to them, whether it's through their books, the food, the recipes, music. Um, music is a big healer. Step into and take ownership of your stuff and find tools to really connect to what matters to you so you can go back into the world, do all the things on your list, and um, do them with love. Mwah. Have a great day. Bye. inside Julia Child's kitchen.